Welcome back to our Blue Z Water channel. Today I want to go over various protocols for using the Blue Z Water. We're going to discuss our basic uh, protocol for treating a gallon or three gallons or five gallons, the regular protocol, and then our intensive protocol. We'll also briefly touch upon some other applications. So we're going to go get to the website and, and uh, get into this. Okay, so if you go into our website, just go to product info and at the bottom it says applications, how to use ingredients. Okay, so first of all, if any of you purchasing Bluesy Water for the first time, the regular dose, if you're using clean water, spring water, or et cetera, non-sink water, is a half a teaspoon per gallon. Now this is around 50 drops for those of you who use drops. Some of you like to treat less than a gallon. So 50 drops is a gallon and you can do the math from there. Uh, if you're doing, let's say a cup or a quart would be a quarter of that. A half a quarter pint would be an eighth and then a cup would be a 16th, roughly three drops uh, if you're treating a cup of water. So then we move on to the intensive dosing. Now. Let me just go back here real quick. The regular dose, and people ask me all this all the time, can I use it for cooking? Can I use it for various applications? When you treat this basic dose of a half a teaspoon per gallon, this becomes just like any other water, except it's just much higher quality water because of its ability to pull the metals and chemicals. It's, it's, a, high, it's a high level water, but you can use it for cooking. You can use it for any application you would normally use water. When we move on to the intensive dosing, this becomes um, something you do standalone twice a day, and it's a therapeutic detox dose. This is your regular, very it's, it's detoxifying with very low level, the regular dose. The intensive dosing is for those of you who want to accelerate your detoxification. And you need to go slow because if you have metals and chemicals and things like that, and you just go too quick, you can have what's called a healing crisis, a detox reaction, or a Herxheimer effect. So let me just read what we say here. Please start slowly and work up to the following dosage. Add what this is what you're going to work up to. Add one teaspoon per hundred pound body weight to four to six ounces of water. So an example, a 200 pound person would add two teaspoons. Now this is max max. I typically do about uh, maybe, uh, I might do half of this in the morning. I'll do like a one teaspoon as opposed to two. But you can go up to two teaspoons. This is max dose. Do not do, do, do no more than twice a day. So basically you're, you don't wanna over detoxify. Then about 20 to 30 minutes after doing this intensive dosing, concentrated dose, you're gonna drink some additional water. Um, now, we also recommend standing on a vibration machine and you can check it, take, look at our comprehensive detox program here. It explains why to use a vibration machine. But essentially, in a nutshell, think of the bluesy water as putting soap in a washing machine. And what would you do if you had clothes to wash? You put the soap in the machine, you would turn on the agitator. <clears throat> so the bluesy water is like the, this high level cleaning agent and the vibration machine is like the agitator in a washing machine. You can't wash clothes, just putting it into a passive machine and just let it sit there. You would have very filthy water. So in the body, you would have very toxic blood. Okay, so here are some of the guidelines. Start slow at around five to 10 drops of bluesy water. In other words, you're not gonna go up to uh, 100 drops. Uh, one teaspoon would be 100 drops, two teaspoons would be 200 drops. You're gonna start around five to 10 drops, test the waters and make sure you don't have a Herxheimer response. Then if you 
have no reactions, you just keep moving up gradually. If you experience occasional mild detox symptoms, stay at that level for a day or two until symptoms subside and maintain for five to seven days. Now this is conservative, but basically, whenever you start hitting a detox reaction, you either wanna back off slightly or stay there for a while, but you don't wanna push up to the next level. When you do decide to go up to the next level, we're saying to be safe, hold what let's say you've gotten up to 25 drops and then you start getting a bit of a herx you might want to stay at 25 drops for about five to seven days if you if you get severe detox symptoms go back to the regular bluesy water dosage in other words just stop doing this intensive if you really get a heavy herx just go back to the half a teaspoon per gallon and then start the intensive protocol Again, now, if you're really highly sensitive and you've gotten a detox reaction at the five to 10 drops, you would then move down even lower. But let's say you're up to 30 drops and you start to get a really heavy duty reaction. Sometimes this will happen. You'll hit a layer, the body will all of a sudden just start to dump a lot. Then you might either back off completely. You know, you're gonna have to use your intuition, but definitely you're gonna back down before you go back at it and let the body go through its processing. So you don't want to overload it with further detox work. Um, here we, and number four, if bowel activity decreases or you experience constipation, use extra fiber products such as chia seeds, flax seeds, or energy enzyme blend. By the way, we always recommend using the energy enzyme blend for all detoxification protocols because it really focuses on the colon plus it actually kills parasites. So anybody buying the bluesy water, please buy the energy enzyme blend because it, it'll pull metals, chemicals, it's antimicrobial and works on parasites. It acts basically like a filter in the colon. So then once again, if you're still getting constipation, you should just back off on your dosage. Um, constipation and diarrhea can be both occur when somebody's toxic, so you can kind of swing both ways. So again, the general protocol is if you're starting to get too much reaction, back off, let the body process, and then move back up. And once again, please try to use the energy enzyme blend. Uh, along with the bluesy water, we also are going to post links below to our antimicrobial program, which we're going to include using the the um, vibration machine or rebounder and uh, additional protocols that work on microbes. So this is very important. Bluesy water is antimicrobial, but a lot of times if somebody is really overloaded, you need to add in additional protocols, which are in our antimicrobial program. Okay, detox symptoms include the following constipation, diarrhea, excessive gas, acid reflux, nausea, flu-like symptoms, feeling anxious, feeling depressed, headaches, muscle aches, cramping, bad breath, fatigue, sleep disruption, loss of appetite, and food cravings. Remember, please remember that as pathogens die off, they dump toxins into your body. It's imperative that you do your cellular pumping exercises to minimize detox reactions. In other words, once again, we're going back to the idea that you don't put soap in a washing machine with filthy clothes, walk away. You must use your agitator, set it to heavy duty load, and you might have to do two or three or four, five, six, seven rounds with the body, you're going in rounds. So every time you put that bluesy water in your body and, the, and do this boost, make sure you pump the entire cellular body. All righty, uh, we've discontinued our blue boozy boost. Um, basically, you can make your own. So uh, it was a convenience product. Maybe we'll bring it back one day, but this is a very simple way to make it. Um, so again, your max dose that you're gonna work up to is one teaspoon per 100 pound body weight or 100 drops. Per 100 pounds, so one drop per pound, basically. All righty, uh, here's a brain and lung cleanse. You can go to our site and read about it. I don't want to get too in depth 
with this, but basically you're using a concentrated bluesy water in a nebulizer environment and you use a mask so it can get into your brain and sinuses. Uh, bluesy bath, uh, we have a whole write up on bluesy bath here. So with instructions, bluesy bath is like going to a super high and a hot spring and it's extremely relaxing. Um, so please take a look at the instructions. We have a show bubbling mat here. You could also use one of those uh, spa jet sprays from Conair instead of a mat. Uh, but basically you're gonna put uh, around a half a bottle of bluesy water in a bath and uh, very, very relaxing. All righty, so once again, start off with your regular dose. And when you start doing the intensive dosing, which you can do twice a day, just play it safe, start low, work up. Please check out our antimicrobial program. It's very critical that you do things in synergy. The more you do that, the less detox reactions you have. You can contact us for a consult if you're working on some pretty heavy duty uh, microbial uh, infections, let's say Lyme disease or Epstein-Barr, anything viral, bacterial. Uh, you really want to learn skillfully how to do our complete program. Appreciate it. Thank you.